This big frame is going to equal big profit and I'm going to show you how I do it. Make sure to stay tuned towards the end to find out how much money I think I'm going to make from this piece. I scored this huge picture for just £4 at the thrift store. To add value to this, we're going to be doing some reverse painting, and I thought a simple idea would be a skull. So I went online, found a skull, and then adapted it in Photoshop to be what I needed. If you'd like to use the same skull, I'll include a link down into the comments for the adapted graphic. Once I had the graphic, I divided it up so I could print it off to use as a guide. But I don't have a big enough printer, so I printed it off in A4 sheets and then reassembled it. You can find lots of videos on how to do this type of thing online. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. First things first, I want to take this frame apart and get that old picture out. Hopefully it's not a precious collectible. This adhesive stuck on the goods, so I'm gonna go and get the heat gun to help remove it. This is actually an original piece of art. You can see that it's been drawn, it's been painted. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a Beetlejuice landscape. So let me know if you think I'm destroying a valuable or decent piece of art. <laughs> so I need to put my skull under the glass, clean the glass, and then we can start painting. So I'm going to paint on the reverse of this glass and for that you want to make sure you're using an enamel based paint because that dries hard and it will give you the best results. For my project I'm using this Revell pot in a matte black and I've used this for years for this type of project. I've never done this design before so it's going to be interesting to see how it comes out. And now it's time to start painting. There's no right or wrong to this, just go for it. Once the whole design's painted in, you won't notice any imperfections and anything that annoys you too much, you can always just scratch off with a blade. I've been lying here for too long. I don't know what else to do. I wanna get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options Every detail in my head 
But it doesn't really matter, nothing better, so I cry instead. Staring at the ceiling, I've been staying up all night. Everything I ever worked for vanished in the blink of an eye. I've been asking every question, cause I haven't got a clue. Was it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to do? I get the feeling I'm going to need more paint. So far I've done all of this in just 45 minutes. This is just a great thing to pop some headphones in and listen to whatever you like. So I want some of these lines to be really, really straight. The problem is I can't get them as straight with a brush. So I'm going to paint some areas and then I'm going to scrape off any excess paint later once it's dried. And that will give me a neater, crisper line. So we'll leave that to dry and then I'll come back and refine some of those shapes that I couldn't get quite right with the brush. Okay, so I've gone and done some other projects, come back and it's nearly dry. If you want to see those other projects, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can see all my future videos. I don't know what else to do. I want to get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options. Every detail in my head But it doesn't really matter, nothing matter So I cry instead I then took the frame outside and sprayed it with some high gloss black paint So to secure the backer in, I'm going to be using my picture framing tab gun. These are great, you can get them on Amazon and they're really handy for lots of different projects. They shoot a little tab in, a bit like a staple, just sort of like where you would get in the shop where you lift open the, the little flap and you can take your backer out. And then I'm going to go around the edge with some brown tape. This is professional uh, framers tape that I got off eBay, but you could use masking tape or skip this step. I've been staring at the sea. I've been staring up all night. After 
all that work, all that was left was to take it to the shop, clean it and price it up. I did end up using the artwork, turned it around so that that could be the white of the skull. And I didn't capture it, but I painted his teeth gold using that same Ravel enamel paint. I hope you like how this project came out. Do you think we added real value or not? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get towards 4,000 subscribers in the not too distant future. And if you'd like to see some more fabulous furniture makeovers that you won't find anywhere else, I'll leave a playlist here.